Hey, Pitbull, uh, welcome back. Um, I mean, there's been such a long, long wait for this fight, obviously. So I'm just wondering if you can put into words how frustrating that can be. Merdas acontecem, né? Aconteceu tanto para mim como para outro, os outros lutadores. Então, estamos em situações iguais e não estou preocupado com isso. Aproveitei o um momento com minha família, treinei bastante, uh, consegui adquirir técnicas novas, estou mais habilidoso e vamos, vamos dar o próximo passo. Acontece. Yeah, that happens. Uh, we're professional fighters, and that's a, that happens in the fight game. We're actually both in the same situation. I got to spend some time with my family. I trained very hard. I improved on some skills. I added some new skills, and we're ready to fight. And uh, were you surprised the Grand Prix didn't return sooner in July or August when Bellator first came back from the pandemic? Você estava de surpresa que o torneio do Grand Prix não voltou tipo primeiro mês em julho quando Bellator voltou? É, eu esperava que voltasse antes e eu até estava pronto para entrar na reta final do camp, né? Então eu sempre tive um camp ali controlado, esperando aquelas últimas quatro semanas, que é a semana mais dura para fazer o treinamento realmente pré-competição. E não veio julho, não veio agosto, não veio setembro, e depois a gente recebeu a notícia que seria em novembro, mas deu tudo certo. Eu consegui controlar as lesões, o pico de treino não subiu muito, então me mantive saudável ali, né? Então deu tudo certo. Acontece, eu estou aqui para trabalhar, não tenho nada para reclamar. Yeah, you know, I was ready uh, for July, I was ready for August, I was even at the end of my camp. I have a very controlled camp and we make sure the last four weeks we do it correctly so we could peak at the right moment. Uh, so fortunately, uh, I haven't, we're still at, we're still in peak form. I've been waiting for this fight. I'm well prepared. I've added skills and, 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 and let, let's fight. Good to hear it. Last one for me. Um, just give us your thoughts on the matchup. You've had a lot of time to study Pedro now. What are your thoughts on him and the dangers that he poses? O que você pensa sobre o jogo, o jogo de, de Pedro? Pedro é um lutador muito novo, que gosta de colocar muita pressão. Ele usa toda a sua juventude, né? Além da luta, com muita vontade, vai muito para cima, coloca muita pressão. É um kickboxer muito bom, luta de destro, de canhoto, chuta muito forte na cintura, tem um jiu-jitsu bom. Ali a parte de queda, ele tá, evoluiu bastante, eu sei que ele está treinando bastante o na academia dele. É um lutador que procura ser completo, então não é um cara sem subestimado, mas eu estou pronto, eu sou melhor do que ele em todas as áreas e ele vai ser eliminado na próxima rodada. So Pedro's a really good fighter. He, he's a kickboxer. He switches stances. He has, uh, he trains a lot of wrestling. Uh, he's, he's a very formidable opponent in, uh, in this tournament. Uh, but I'm, I'm ready for this fight. I'm ready to eliminate him and move on in the tournament. I respect him as a, uh, as a fighter, but I'm going for that million dollars. Steve? Obrigado, Pitbull. Thank you for the time. And Obrigado. speaking of being respectful and having respect, Pedro may have said something that would not sound good to you. He said you like to play the victim and therefore you can be the hero when you beat the villain in the fight. Is he talking out of his ass? Careful. Eu gosto de é um personagem de vítima, tipo, então se você perde, você vai ter desculpas quando você perde. Ah. Tipo assim, você acha que ele tá falando para entrar na sua cabeça 
Qual é o seu pensamento sobre isso? Eu não sei nem o que esse cara está falando. Se eu perder, acontece. Nós estamos no esporte para vencer e perder. Mas eu, sei, eu, eu me vejo como lutador melhor que ele. Se for o destino de eu perder para ele, fazer o quê? Acontece. Mas eu estou aqui, eu estou pronto para bater. Não sei o que ele está dizendo, não entendi nada. I have no idea what he's talking about. We're in the fight game. Anybody can win or lose. Of course, anytime I step in that cage, I can lose. But I'm the winningest fighter in Bellator history. I'm coming to. I'm coming for that million dollars. Eu me vejo como um lutador melhor que ele. And I see myself as a better fighter. I see It's myself as a better fighter than he is. Speaking of being the winningest fighter, obviously. Michael Chandler would have loved to have taken that spot from you, but he left and went to UFC. Do you think he ran away from a rematch with you? Você acha que ele estava fugindo de um revanche com você quando ele foi para o UFC, Michael Chandler? Eu acho, talvez, eu não estou certo disso, não. Mas eu sei que ele não quer lutar comigo de novo. Ele, ele sabe que no jogo dele não se encaixa com o meu. Eu tenho o número dele. Mas foi bom, ele lá, ele pode bater nos caras lá, ele pode ser campeão. E ele sendo campeão, eu sou o único cara que fez ele beijar a lona. Uh, yeah, I mean, he's over there. That's great. Um, I, but I, I beat him. I'm the only one that put the champion on the, on the canvas. Uh, He knows I have his number, so it's possible that that he did go over there for that reason. But I could say that he has all the ability to beat those guys over there as well. Uh, he can beat all those guys over there. It's just that he can't beat me because I have his number. So he can very well go on to become the the world cha a world champion in the UFC with the skills that he has. Uh, but he knows he'll never beat me. Very good. Mucho obrigado. Have a great fight Thursday. Obrigado. Até quinta-feira. How you like my ad lib? <laughs> All right, we'll go to Jim. Jim Barcelona, your line is live. We gotta get Pitbull Brothers versus SBG, baby. Okay, we'll try Simon. Your line is live. Up. Hey, uh, Patricio Simon from MMA Island. I just got to ask you here, holding one belt is a, is difficult and winning two is a task not many could even imagine. Is it fair to say you feel like you've uh, you've done it all throughout your, your whole career? É justo porque fala, para falar que é porque você tem que ser dois cinturões, você é um champion, que você faz tudo que você quiser na sua carreira? Não. Não. Uh... Não, não entendi. Você realizar todas as suas metas dentro da MMA? Não, eu... Sendo champ champ? Não, eu acho que falta mais um pouco. Eu quero bater mais alguns recordes, defender o cinturão. Eu ainda sou novo, tenho 33 anos agora. Então, eu tenho muita coisa ainda para mostrar. Estou uh, numa situação boa, eu sei disso. Mas uh, tem muita rivalidade acontecendo, a Pedro Bros. Tem grandes talentos que podem enfrentar aí os caras da Irlanda, da SBG. E vamos fazer esse, esse desafio acontecer. Meu irmão está contra Peter Quill agora. Ia ser uma coisa boa. Então, tem muita coisa ainda. Muita, muito capítulo para contar essa história. Não. Eu tenho muito que fazer na MMA. Eu tenho muitos objetivos. Muitos recordes. Mais novos recordes que eu quero quebrar para... Uh, Bellator, three category champ, um, records like that, things that have never been done before. And then I have uh, the Pitbull brothers along with my brother fighting SBG and Patricky fighting Peter Queeley soon. Uh, so there, there's a lot of uh, stuff on the horizon for myself and the Pitbull brothers. Uh, we have a rivalry with SBG and the Pitbull brothers. Leandro Alter Ego versus James Gallagher is another fight we're really uh, interested in. And uh, the Pitbull brothers versus SBG is, the, is a big rivalry that, that's ahead of us. So there's a, a lot more chapters and a lot more conquering to happen uh, in the future. 
Talking about chapters and breaking records, would you ever consider the option of moving to the UFC? Eu já pensei em cross promotion. Acho que o futuro do esporte é botar os campeões para se enfrentar para gente saber realmente quem é o melhor. Yes, I've already spoke about cross promotion. I think that's the future of MMA. The landscape is changing with the new government possibly and cross promotion is the best way to find out who truly is uh, the best fighter at each weight class and I know I am. All right, well, I know he is. We'll go back to Jim. All right, thank you. Sorry about that before. Okay. Uh, who did you who's with you for this fight? Uh, Everton Lopes, big up in the box, big up in the box. Eric Barassi, the Salação Americana de Wrestling, one of the most sinistro que tem tecnicamente. Meu irmão me viu nascer, sabe minhas todas técnicas. E um dos caras mais sinistros do Brasil, do, do cara tem Mano Santana. And Patricio, so. So, oh, go ahead. Uh, who's here is Ever Everton Lopez, two-time Olympian, two-time uh, amateur boxing world champion, my brother, the king of Bellator knockouts, uh, Captain Eric Albertson, uh, Team USA wrestling member and uh, technical and technical coach, Man. and Mano Santana, also uh, Team Brazil and black belt in karate. He's uh, my, one of my technical striking coaches. This is an assembled quite a team. I'm curious, Patricio, just how important to your career are all these people that have been around you and the team itself and doing everything together as a team. I know it's an individual sport, but you all have really built a great team. Fala sobre você bate todos os regras. Fala how important an equipe bom para ensinar você com uma equipe bom como você fez. Quando a gente está numa era, eu estou numa, numa era eu consigo bater todos os lutadores dessa geração. Então eu estou fazendo isso por 10 anos. Então eu já enfrentei várias eras e já dominei elas. Eu estou entrando na nova geração agora, você vê Pedro Carvalho, eu acho que ele tem 20, 24 anos. E estão surgindo vários caras novos aí, AJ aqui vários caras com a idade, uh, praticamente 10 anos a menos que eu, e eu continuo, eu continuo dominando todas essas eras. Então, eu vim para cravar a história, uh, para entrar na história do MMA, eu já estou na história desse esporte, então eu quero fazer isso mais algumas vezes. Girar a categoria e sair limpando todo mundo. Então, a equipe é muito importante para isso, que eu sempre vou evoluindo com ela. The, 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 key, the, oh, sorry. the team you surround yourself with is very important. They have to evolve with you as long uh, as well as you evolve. Um, as you see there, each, there's, a, there's generations in MMA. I started this game 10 years ago, and I've been able to dominate in every era since. And now there's a new era. There's a new generation of fighters. Pedro Carvalho is one of them, being 23, 24 years old. AJ McKee is another one. And I've been, uh, these guys are the new generation coming coming up and I'm here and I'm dominating them. And, I, and I'm still dominating them. So uh, you, the, the team you have around uh, or the team I have around me is the reason why I've been able to dominate throughout all the eras of MMA. Toda, toda a geração que chega pensando que vai enfrentar um Patrice Pitbull Ele já enfrenta uma nova, uma nova, uma nova, um novo lutador diferente. Então sempre estou me reinventando. So every new generation comes up saying they want to beat Patricio Pitbull. I fight them, and then they they become a new fighter after I beat them. So I'm reinventing uh, the, this new generation. They're all improving as as they see as they try to keep up with me from generation from uh, how I'm able to dominate in each era of the generation. And I attribute that to having, you got to have good coaches around you with that, that evolve with you. Thank you, Pitbull. Thank you. All right, we'll go to Steven. Hey, Pitbull, uh, you mentioned uh, your brother earlier. How is he doing after his uh, bout of labyrinthitis? 
conta seu irmão depois de ter esse caso de labirinto? Ah, ele está ele tá se tratando, mas ainda não está curado. So he's he's getting it treated. Uh, it's not yet finished uh, being cured. How long did it take him to get over that? Uh, what he was, what he suffered on fight night, and is this when you talk about treatment? What do you mean by that? Is this going to be something that's going to be a a concern going forward? When you talk about treatment, what you mean by that? Is this going to be a concern going forward? When you talk about treatment, what you mean by that? Is this going to be a concern going forward? When you talk about treatment, what you mean by that? Is this going to be a concern going forward? When you talk about treatment, what you mean by that? Is this going to be a concern going forward? When you talk about treatment, what you mean by that? Is this going to be a concern going forward? When you talk about Yeah, this is something that we've had in our family uh, before, and we just got to wait for his symptoms to to go away, and he'll be back. Have you ever suffered from it? Eu senti duas vezes lutando. Yeah, I've, I've I've had it twice fight while fighting. Wow, what was that like? Como foi isso? Uma vez contra Jadson Costa em Natal, ele Deu com o ombro no, no meu queixo e minha cabeça bateu no, no ringue. E quando eu subi, eu subi vendo três lutadores, minha cabeça estava embaçada. E outra vez foi com o Joe Warren. Mesma coisa, ele me botou para baixo, deu umas pancadas, fiquei, tô, fiquei vendo o visão. A primeira vez que isso aconteceu foi contra o Jadson Costa. E eu acho que foi uma shoulder to the head that to my chin that hit the back of my head on the mat. E eu vou. I got when I got back to my feet. I was seeing three people, three blurry people. So uh, it also happened again with against Joe Warren. Uh, uh, that same type of situation, being blurry and seeing seeing three Joes after something like that, banging my head on the mat. Wow. Um, did watching Anderson Silva fight the other week make you think at all about? your career, um, what you, how you want to go out, uh, how you want to uh, leave the sport and what you want to accomplish uh, by the time you, you decide to hang it up? Oh, essa luta com o Anderson deixou você pensando como você quer sair do esporte, como você quer aposentar, como você vai sair do esporte. Esse, esse deixa você pensando nisso? Ah, o, o auge de Anderson Silva foi, foi, eu acho que foi na minha idade. Então, tem muita coisa para mostrar ainda, mas com certeza a minha categoria é uma categoria mais explosiva, com mais potência. Os lutadores já aprendem mais disso. E eu sei que eu tenho que, querendo ou não, não é hora, assim, a gente sabe que agora não é o momento de eu parar, mas querendo ou não, é, mais 10 anos aqui é muita coisa para mim. Eu sei que eu vou fazer uma história bonita e depois eu não vou querer ser, não vou querer servir de escada para ninguém. Quando eu, quando eu chegar o meu momento, eu vou saber. E talvez eu continue lutando depois de velho, mas contra caras que têm a mesma história parecida com a minha. E eu continuo fazendo super lutas contra, contra caras que têm a história parecida com caras que foram campeões, com caras que têm a minha idade. E eu acho que até o MMA, o UFC, Bellator e as grandes organizações deveriam pensar numa categoria de masters. Os caras mais velhos, enfrentando caras mais velhos e lutando de igual para igual. Porque a gente, a gente sabe que a idade chega para todo mundo. E mesmo que você seja um grande lutador, você lutando contra um cara muito mais novo, pode estar fazendo diferença grande na hora do combate. So, it doesn't, uh, I haven't really thought about retiring. Uh, obviously, as a fighter, one day you have to retire. Everybody has to retire father time is undefeated, but uh, I don't think about that. You know, it is, I am in a tougher weight class than, uh, I'm at 145 pounds where these guys are real fast. Anderson and Silva teve seu prime time na mesma idade que eu. And uh, Anderson Silva was in his prime at this same age as me. Um, so these guys are a little bit faster, a little bit explosive, or as you get lower in weight. And so you can't, You can't stay on top forever. That's obvious. But now, now is not the time for me to be thinking about uh, retiring or anything like that. It, it happens to all of us. Um, o final que você estava falando. Mas, uh, oh, uh, but, you know, 
there's these, uh, I believe there should be a great, uh, led, like a legendary category, a master's category, where some of these guys that are a little bit older, that have great histories, that are legends in the sport, they can fight each other. That's another reason for a great cross promotion, uh, like we've seen um, before, is uh, these older guys fighting, or legends fighting legends, as opposed to fighting somebody 15 years or 10 years much younger than you, because eventually, I mean, Father Time catches up with you, and it's a, it, get, it gets tougher and tougher to fight the younger guys. So I would love to see something like that with a, a master's division, cross promotion divisions, legends against legends. And one last question, if I could. Um, does Bellator keep, I don't know if this is actually applies, so forgive me if it doesn't, but does Bellator keep you and SBG fighters apart when you're at the host hotel? I remember when you got into it with Will Brooks uh, about five years ago, and it didn't go very well. <laughs> do, do they take the similar precautions here? It is a little cares. The SBG people, bro, está separado. Cheap, no hotel, cheap. Porque aqui aconteceu com você, o Will Brooks, na época, né? Tá falando se ele, se essa rivalidade é tipo assim. Sim, sempre o, o balador coloca os lutadores numa, num hotel diferente, numa torre diferente, mas somos lutadores civilizados, a, a não ser que eles falem muito, eles gostam de falar demais. Desde que eles não falem besteira, não querem desafiar, a coisa vira pessoal, mas geralmente tem alguma segurança nos acompanhando e deixando a gente e elas separadas. Yes, uh, they always separate the pitbull's opponents from us. Uh, so... It's, uh, but you know, we're civil fighters, we're professionals, and uh, but even though, even so, Pitbull Brothers always has security, uh, by the Pitbull Brothers always has security by our side, and uh, just in case. All right, we'll go to Donna. <laughs> Hey, how's it going, guys? Donna Corby yeah. here. Eric, I want you to, I want to hear from you as well in here. Uh, are you able to jump in or is that allowed? I'll allow it. <laughs> um, I want to hear about the travel. I know that Leandro Ego had some problems with the travel for his fight. Uh, he, he struggled with the weight cut because of it. And, um, and of course, um, Patricky had his health issues. Obviously not related to travel necessarily, but how was the um, how did you guys find the trip getting over to America this time? A lot smoother, and and there won't be any problems uh, with that. Ele falou sobre como foi a viagem aqui, porque a última vez tu irmão pegou o labirinto, Leandro não bateu o peso. Como foi a viagem nesta vez? Ah, daquela vez nós tivemos problemas de autorização tem entrar nos Estados Unidos, então a gente perdeu dois dias no aeroporto. Isso acabou prejudicando o Leandro, que ficou com a alimentação inadequada, não, a gente não conseguiu fazer os treinamentos corretos, que estava previsto para ele dar cena de peso. Então, na reta final, isso fez uma diferença. E o meu irmão, infelizmente, ele teve uma crise de labirintito na semana da luta, mas pensávamos que era por causa da descida de peso, que ele estava tonto. Mas logo após ele recuperar o peso e a gente dar aquele treino para a luta, ele, ele ficou muito tonto e eu fui obrigado a cancelar o combate. Dessa vez foi diferente, né? se trata de pessoas diferentes, eu não... cheguei um dia antes do previsto aqui, a semana foi boa, a meta do peso está bem, eu estou bem de saúde, não me sinto com nenhum problema, estou pronto para defender o título. Uhul! You have to motivate me for that one. <laughs> Let's go, Captain! <laughs> all right, let me see if I get all that. Yeah, I almost forgot the, the whole question. Um, repeat the question, I got the answer. Uh, it was about the travel and how uh, yes, Leandro had uh, some issues. So, yeah. so yeah, you know the la the the travel last time there was problems at the airport. We spent two days in the airport, and actually that kind of made the difference for Leandro making weight because he has a very controlled weight cut, a very controlled uh, taper, which includes trainings that we missed, and so that was a big difference in uh, that made a big difference in him. Uh, making the cut, uh, so he missed it by a little bit. And then my brother, you know, I'm not sure if it was the weight cut that triggered his labyrinthy, but his, or uh, I think it's like uh, Meniere's disease. But um, 
he just uh it it didn't happen during the weight cut, but it was happening during the warm up to the fight. I noticed him something was off with him, and then I felt oblig he told me what was wrong, and then I felt obligated to uh to cancel the fight. This time there was no problems at the airport. We actually came a day earlier than expected uh to prepare for any uh possible problems and so far there's no there's no problems and i'm ready to fight i'm prepared i prepared well i prepared well and i'm ready and eric while i have you here i want to know is triple c going into the ultimate fighter as the coach well you know uh you know city kickboxing uh, and Alex Volkanovsky, they've kind of avoided Patricio Pitbull. Um, Patricio Pitbull actually was willing to bet a million dollars with, with Dana White to do a cross promotion. Uh, so far, we haven't heard anything back. Um, so if they are not willing to fight Patricio Pitbull, um, I think uh, uh, I'm not sure what's going to happen with Triple C. You know, Triple C is a. Uh, the greatest combat athlete of all time. And, you know, if you were Volkanovski, that was a, would be a fight that should intrigue him, but I'm not sure. It doesn't seem like it, it intrigues him. But maybe the ulterior fighter can entice him. You know, um, you know, Henry's the king of cringe. He brings a lot of ratings to ESPN. It'll be the first ESPN uh uh, ultimate fighter so it, it's possible that that could intrigue him a lot of people don't know who Volkanovski is uh, so this is a way to get himself out there and amplify him. and who better to do it against than the the, uh, the king of cringe triple C going to trying to become C4 so I think uh, I think it's a great idea and I hope he does accept it I hope it does happen we did tough 24 which was uh, Henry versus uh, Joe Benavidez it was a great experience, and that was like the catapult to Henry becoming Triple C. So hopefully we can do it again and get the first uh, alternate fighter on ESPN. That'd be great. But I would say first I'd like to see him accept that million-dollar bet by Patricio Pitbull. That's what I'd like to see. We still got a – I think there's still a rivalry there. City right. kickboxing. We'll have uh, time for two more questions. Santiago? Hi, Patricio. Boa tarde and greetings from Amsterdam. You have Boa already do, you have already done three featherweight tournaments with Bellator and you won two of them. Do you enjoy competing in these tournaments or is it different now that you are the current champion of the division? I like to compete in these tournaments. You already won two. You were in the final of the other. You like to fight in the tournament or is it different because you are the champion? Eu tinha, essa, eu tinha essa opção de ficar de fora do, do torneio e lutar apenas contra o campeão do GP, mas eu, eu gosto de desafio e eu me coloquei nessa situação de entrar lá no meio de todos os lutadores e lutar no meio deles e realmente provar que eu, eu sou o melhor da história. Eu tinha a opção, eu tinha a opção de não lutar nesse torneio e apenas lutar o ganhador do Grand Prix torneio. Mas... But... I want to be, I put myself in the tournament. I'm here to show that I am the best fighter in the world. And when I win the tournament, everybody know I'm the best featherweight in MMA, pound for pound. All right, my last question, I'll go to Lenny. Hello, Patricia, how are you? Uh, wait, I'm wait can you hear me? Great. Oh, yeah, you can hear me, yep. Uh, so I just, um, a while back, I heard Captain America say that the Pitbulls versus the SBG. Uh, can, can I get um, why... Um, uh, the, the the rivalry and the personal and data, but, but, uh, against uh, the SBG and why what, what, why do you want to beat them so bad? Well, okay, but you have a rivalry with the SBG. He heard us talking about the people against the SBG. It's a great team that it's a great team that is in the organization. I think the Balaton deserves this rivalry. The fans want it. Uh, eles falam muito tem James Gallagher na meia que fala merda pra caralho chegou falando merda baixo, é, chegou de meia meia levou pau baixou pra meia um levou pau de novo Leandro desafia ele ele não aceita tem Peter Quill contra meu irmão chegou falando merda também vai apanhar tem agora Pedro Cavalho que vai ser o primeiro pra entrar na porrada então é isso nós temos lutadores da mesma divisão os caras falam muito e vão ter que entrar na chibata aqui 
<laughs> so, yeah, I mean, uh, they're a great team. You know, they have a lot of good fighters there, but they talk a lot of shit. You know, these guys, uh, James Gallagher came to my weight class, uh, got his ass whooped, dropped another weight class, got his ass whooped again. His brother, uh, I mean, uh, Peter Queeley is uh, fighting my brother. He's been talking a lot of shit. He's going to get his ass whooped. Uh, you know, we have uh, Pedro Carvalho. Pedro Carvalho's been talking smack, and, and I'm going to take care of him on Thursday. So, you know, we there's a robbery. These guys talk shit, and, we get, and that's what the fight game's about. Get, we get to enter the cage and uh, whoop their ass for it. So, uh, yes, they're a great team, um, but there's a rivalry, Pitbull Brothers versus uh, SBG. So as a coach, I love it. I think uh, as a coach, you, I, I like these rivalries. I mean, we're a small team, you know, the Pitbull Brothers. From a little, we're from a little beach town in, in northeast Brazil, and we're taking on the greatest, the greatest teams. I mean, we fought. A K Leandro fought AKA last fight or two fights ago. Last fight he fought eight American top team. You know, Patricius fought American top team. Patricius fought uh, you know, uh of just all the, the biggest teams out there, those super teams. Um, you know, uh Sanford MMA and the we so these rivalries uh are good. Uh Bellator deserves it, the fans deserve it. And I think um I I love to see that uh, the Pitbull Brothers are is up there in my consideration, probably the number one team in the world. Uh, so it's good to have a bullseye on your back, and it's not just uh, we, we we're the ones with the belts, not SVG. So really, the rivalry is them wanting wanting what we have. They want our gold. Portugal wants the Brazilians' gold again, but it's not going to happen. Um, not this time. Not with Patricio Pitbull. At the helm, uh, who I think is pound for pound the best fighter in on the planet, regardless of of, uh, of promotion. And if you want, if you don't believe me, just watch. Tune in November twelfth, CBS Sports Network. All right, all right. Thank you very much, Patricio. We're all done, and uh, we'll be joined here momentarily by Aaron Pico. <laughs>